Bro, you know what I just realized? Hollywood makes movies that manipulates beta male chumps, nerds, like younger us, to try to protect and like white knights for women. Think about it, in every like movie, especially like the teenage type of ones, like the manipulative kind of ones, in every movie, there's the girl, the, like the prize, right? The girl is the prize, right? There's the alpha male who acts in a normal masculine way, but that scene is toxic. But usually that alpha male is quite stoic towards the girl. He's usually focused on something else. So he's usually like a dumb jock. He's usually focused on his sport. And he often seems in these movies, prefers to spend time with his like friends. And sometimes, you know, he might tell the girl like, oh yeah, you know, he's too busy to hang out today because he wants to spend time with the girl. Hollywood portrays this as toxically masculine, that it's a really bad thing that the girl's like deeply hurt by. It. And of course, you know, the girl is hurt by um, slightly getting rejected by the alpha male. Of course that happens, but it's seen then as like the beta male's duty, like the little skinny neck nerd who's the main character in all these movies. It's his duty then to like, you know, go come up and like come up against the bully and like beat him up and eventually win the girl's heart. Hollywood has convinced an entire generation of beta males that they have a chance with like the fair maiden. And all they have to do is actually attack the, the alpha male. What they've done is systematically destroy masculinity inside of us and make us think that being the feminine little chump is the better long-term way to secure her love. And the thing is, you know what? It slightly is. It slightly is because the truth, on, like the unfiltered truth of the dating dynamic, is that the unfiltered, the the chump, the skinny neck chump that you might be, the guy who like you know really cares about the girl. <laughs> of course, caring about the girl is nice, but like you know, I'm a fucking nerd type of guy, right? Eventually, the thing is, that kind of guy eventually does get love. You know, you know what happens? Eventually, when she's 30, 35 years old and she's tired of all the guys who only want one thing, all the alpha males who just you know didn't want to stick around because they were too good for her anyway. And then she'll settle down with a fucking t chump like you'd see in the movies. But in the movie, you see it still at like her peak. You still see it in like, you know, relatively in, in a month. You know, the, the time span of, of a Hollywood movie is usually like a couple of months, right? You know, like in the movie, right? The, the nerd doesn't get older or anything. The girl doesn't get older. It doesn't show them starting at like 16 and eventually shows, yep, she's 30 now. She's had a good time, like a really fun time with all the alpha males, the Chads and the Tyrones. And now she wants a little chump. You know, the, the chump's always been reliable because that's what happens in real life. But they're not going to show that. So in Hollywood, they show the really fast version of this, which is that while she's still young, whilst everyone's still young and the nerd's still young and you're still in high school or college or whatever, that's when the nerd wins a heart and that's not what happens. Because in reality, the alpha male, the successful high value man is not actually a bad person. He's not toxically masculine. He's just acting in a way that fulfills his mission more than his love for his woman. That's not a toxic trait at all. And if you think anything I've said in this video is problematic, you've got deep brainwashed conditioning that you would not have had just 20 to 30 years ago. And especially not hundreds, thousands of years ago when masculinity was more needed. Right now, most likely, if, if there's any like little, like honestly chumps watching this who think that I'm being like a toxic or something, I guarantee you live in a safe country. I guarantee you live in a safe country and that country is safe entirely because of strong alpha male men, entirely. 0% women, 100% men made your country safe. You want to kill that off? You want to kill those men off? You want to like destroy masculinity? We don't need men. Just wait what happens. Because there's another country out there that still says, yep, of course we need men. Of course we do. Hey, look. Hey, look, guys. Guys, look. That country over there full of chumps, they've got a lot of resources and they've got no alpha males to protect it. Let's go pillage them. And we will see this very shortly. You think I'm crazy? Just wait. It's hard work. It's crazy. Shut up, bro. Don't watch fucking movies, bro. I've not watched one second of a movie in like two and a half years. Why would you allow them to brainwash you? Fuck me. Do not watch movies, TV shows. It's a, it's a weapon used to just keep you as a fucking chum, man. I think video games are the same. Don't allow this media to turn you into a little soy boy, bro. Mwah.